Well, whether out on a farm or in the city, it's hard not to enjoy the weather today, but it's going to start getting some very muggy outside. Scott Steele joins us to time out the changes. Hey, Scott. Hey, Katie. If you stayed out overnight into the early morning hours tomorrow, you would actually feel the air getting thicker. That's how quickly it's going to be changing. And outside right now, we got just a few raindrops to worry about. I really nothing to worry about too significant at all. Here's Storm Team 4 Max radar sweeping across southeastern Wisconsin. Line of heavier showers off in western Wisconsin entering more stable air around here. So these things are just kind of petering out. The steadiest, heaviest stuff was up around Fond du Lac and even that didn't last very long. Now pushing into northern Sheboygan County around Greenbush, you may see a raindrop or two. You could count them probably on both hands from West Bend down southwest through Oconomowoc right along 94 if this holds together. Yeah, again, a couple of raindrops may get the windshield wipers going for about a minute. That would be about it. And here's a live look right now from our Waukesha County Tower Cam. As we look to the northwest, after this line of showers goes through, we're going to see some breaks in the clouds redeveloping with more sun before it sets. So, in your weather headlines, get ready for a muggier Monday, toastier temperatures as well as more rounds of steadier rain roll in. I think we're going to enter an unsettled period after several nice days. Outside right now across the area, temperatures flirting with 80 degrees in Fondy. It is 81 in Chocolate City, USA, Burlington, 79 in Waukesha, 75 degrees right now, officially at Milwaukee's Mitchell International. A southeasterly breeze, rather strong, anywhere between 12 and 22 miles an hour. That's going to dissipate as we go through the nighttime hours tonight. As we widen out the view, notice just off to the west. I mean, it is sizzling out there. 90 right now in Omaha, Nebraska. 94 Wichita, Kansas. 90 KC, 84 Des Moines. But it's not just the heat, it's the humidity. Look at these dew points, mid-70s. Tropical in nature from Sioux Falls on down south through Omaha. 71 in Des Moines, 70 the dew point in KC and St. Louis. And those muggies are going to be moving on in to our area over the next 24 hours. Here's a look at the satellite and radar combination, and you can see the line of showers that we had off in western Wisconsin. It's kind of petering out, falling apart as it moves into the more stable air around here with high pressure still dominating our conditions. But off to the west and southwest, you can see several low pressure centers. That's going to lead to an unsettled stretch of weather coming our way awfully soon. We'll time that out for you in just a moment. Meantime, around the area right now, Breaks in the clouds will be developing in just the next couple of hours and future forecast shows. A few more showers or storms could fire back up during the overnight hours north of Milwaukee again focused on Fond du Lac and Sheboygan counties, then get out of the way by the morning commute tomorrow and Monday looks to be pretty good. So your storm team forecast for tonight other than an isolated shower or storm north. We'll see partly cloudy and warm conditions with temperatures down to the mid 60s for tomorrow on our Monday. An isolated shower or storm very early, then becoming mostly sunny, most of the day dry, but very warm and humid. Our high soaring to near 87 degrees. Here comes your storm team for seven day forecast. Get ready for more steady rounds of showers and storms Tuesday into Tuesday night and Wednesday. Some heavy rain possibly then near 90 degrees on Wednesday, a little cooler and drier by Thursday. And as we head toward the end of the week, Things calming down. Friday looks to be terrific. 77 degrees with plenty of sun. I think the unsettled stretch the first half of the week, the second half of the week, looking pretty nice, Katie. Awesome. Look forward to it. Thanks, nice Scott. Summary.